Today, we're going to discover the differences between the speed of sound and the speed of light. You know that the speed of sound is a longitudinal wave and it moves through the air. It needs the medium, by the way, so it moves through the air 343 meters per second. The speed of light, as you know, that is a transversal wave and it doesn't need the medium and it moves through the air or through the vacuum. It's the same thing because the index uh, of, um, of refraction for air and vacuum for that matter the same uh, that is one so it moves through the air or through the vacuum is three times 10 is to 8 meter per second that is 300 million meter per second now what would be the equation so as now you realize that a speed of sound cannot cannot a speed cannot move without the air it cannot move through the vacuum so what would be the equation that can calculate the speed of the sound all right okay so you know the velocity is square root of you you have the what do you call the heat capacity 1.4 and then the heat constant 8.3 and the temperature right now what would be the temperature the temperature i have ice on the ground and i have a sun in the sky so the temperature let's say is 20 degree celsius and now i have the divide by the molar mass what is molar mass the air made of what do you think the air made of air made of nitrogen gas oxygen gas and of course the argon the speed of sound is 343 meter per second now let's talk about the speed of light what would be the equation for the speed of light i give you two equations one calculate the speed of light through the water and other calculate the speed of light through the vacuum through the water the speed of light is lambda times of course the frequency divided by n the speed of light through the vacuum is lambda times frequency so let's talk about the i don't know the let's say i give you the frequency how much the frequency would be very small frequency i'm going to give you let's say let's say 6 times 10 raised to negative 14 times that's the uh, that's the frequency that's the frequency times 5 times 10 raised to 21 so then you have 6 times 5 is 30 times 10 raised to negative 14 plus 21 so you have 30 times 10 raised to um, 7 and then 3 times 10 raised to 8 so thus velocity is 3 times 10 raised to 8 so this is most probably the red light why red light because red light the frequency is small and the lambda is big and when red light goes through the medium let's say n is 1.33 which is water then it's going to be velocity is going to be uh, 3 times 10 raised to 8 divided by n is 1.33 and that is velocity 2.25 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second so how the picture would look like the picture would look like this you have the surface the this is the red light this is the air and this is the water and the velocity of the the velocity of the light over here is 3 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second and then the velocity is now is smaller 2.25 times 10 raised to 8 so what did you learn today the speed of sound is much smaller than the speed of light and when the speed of light changes the medium from air to water, for example, then the angle, this is angle of incident, so angle of incident is bigger than, if the angle of incident is bigger than angle of refraction, the velocity 1 is bigger than the velocity 2, okay? If and only if, n1 is smaller than n2, n1 and n2.